There's nothing like seeing a student, you know, maybe their sophomore year in college, go out and do that internship with a, an advertising agency or a bank or a stock brokerage or professional sports team or whatever area they're interested in working in the, the business area um, and then come back and know that's what they want to do for a career. And they just pour themselves into their studies that much harder after that type of experience. And it also motivates them to seek additional internships. And then by the time that student is a senior in college and actually interviewing for a full-time job, they very typically will have two or three internships in their chosen field on that resume. And that really makes them stand out against the graduate from another college. My internship this summer is going to be with the FBI out in uh, Clarksburg, West Virginia. I actually just got my official assignment yesterday. Um, I'm going to be working in the Criminal Justice Information Service D Division. Uh, it kind of came up, basically, my academic advisor, Martha Harris, she gave me an email that she had gotten from a regional field officer from the Kansas City branch, and I, she recommended me to it. She's like, hey, you should do this. Uh, you might be good. And, you, know, you never know if you might get it. Uh, it's a very competitive internship. There were only 100 that were chosen out of the uni entire United States. Um, it was a little bit out of my comfort zone, but uh, I kind of went with it. Um, just wanted to apply, see what would happen, and uh, from that I was chosen. This summer I got accepted to be at an internship at KU Medical School's um, pharmacology and toxicology departments and doing research with them. And all of that has been due to how Baker's prepared me um, in the science departments. I also, through the um, freshman honors program, my fr freshman year, I got to shadow a doctor um, back home in Colorado Springs. He was a doctor of osteopathy, a family practice doctor, and um, being able to shadow him was a great opportunity to see exactly how medicine is applied and what types of cases I'd be involved in. And um, again, it was through Baker allowing me to do that internship. and that really opened my eyes and said, this is really what I want to do. I want to go into medicine. On the broadcasting side of things, the broadcasting program has really started to grow and expand in recent years. And I've noticed that as our broadcasting program has grown, so have the internship opportunities. Uh, we've had students intern with Channel 6, which is the cable operation in Lawrence. We've had students intern at stations in Kansas City, which is uh, a larger market, which is very beneficial for them. And we've also had students do other, for example, we had a student do an internship in the production office with the Kansas City Chiefs last summer. And so he was interested in production and that was a great opportunity for him to be able to learn more about cameras and editing. And the fact that he got to work with the Kansas City Chiefs cheerleaders, he thought that was very cool. But um, as our broadcasting program has grown, the internship opportunities have started to present themselves as being larger and more interesting. And some of our students have even gone on the air. Uh, the students who've done internships at Channel 6 because it's a small enough news operation. Even though they're interns, um, they'll have stories on the air. We had one student on her last day actually anchor a local news cut in. And so I think that the, the media outlets in this area in particular are familiar with the quality of our students at Baker. And as a result, uh, they are more than happy to have our folks come in and, and perform internships. I actually met my boss at Channel 6 through, um, he, he came on a visit to one of our classes and he was one of our class speakers. And uh, Dr. Watson and Tom Hedrick um, upstairs, one of the uh, famous play-by-play -play guy, and now we have the privilege of having him here as a professor at Baker, uh, introduced me to Kevin Romery, who's the sports director at Channel 6 afterwards, and said that, uh, said that they were impressed with my work. And um, Kevin and I remained in close contact for the next couple of weeks, and then uh, I decided to do my internship over the interterm period, which is between uh, the fall and the spring semesters, um, right after Christmas break. And um, it was a great internship. I got over there. I got to do some a lot of hands-on work. I was able to be a videographer for a little bit. I would come home. Or I'd come back to the station. I would edit packages. Um, didn't get a chance to get on air because it is a fairly small uh, station, and there's already three people on their staff. I was the I was the fourth sports guy, um, but I learned. <clears throat> I got to apply everything that I learned in television uh, from Dr. Watson. In fact, my boss even commented that he thought that I was well prepared for my internship and that uh, my knowledge base was, was good coming in. So that's a credit to Dr. Watson and all that he's done for me.